What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build-A video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Mayor's Pass prices. Okay, so I kind of figured that we were going to have a price increase with the new pass having extra levels and whatnot, but I wasn't sure as they hadn't put a price tag on it yet. There have been a lot of changes with the game this update, which some are good, some not so much. Um, but nevertheless, we're going to talk about those changes and which pass you should buy based on whatever level you are, or whatever type of player you are. So before we begin, hit that like and subscribe button. You could join us on Discord with the link down below. You can also join us on Facebook. We have a Facebook group and a Facebook page, so make sure you hit like on the page and join on the group. We have all kinds of stuff up there uh, in terms of like videos and files and all this contest to mayor's guides and links and everything, okay? If you're wanting to join us on the actual SimCity game, you will need to put in uh, a message to either me or Star. The link is down below in the description and see if you're the right fit for the group. You will need to either be a low level player on the Missy's Building Guide or a high level player who plays comp competitively each week and has a decent city, okay? So you need to have near max storage, if not maxed. All right, uh, so basically, this is not the price for the US. This is, I believe, this was sent to me by Star. Let me see if I have the US version. Hold on just a second here. I thought this was the US version. Okay. So here is the US version. Now, it used to be the $4.99 for the basic pass. You get whatever's in it, which appears to be that it stayed the same. However, if you want to pay a little bit more, basically double, um, <laughs> you get a lot more. So what is the best fit for you? Well, I went with the $8.99. I don't see why you wouldn't, honestly. Uh, so for the $4.99, you get five premium building tiers. Then you get items, currencies, and disaster cards. So basically you just get the pass, right? You don't get the bonus stuff and you don't get the additional stuff that they're adding on for the $8.99. Now for $8.99, you get to advance five tiers, 10 additional tiers, uh, so that would be those bonus tiers at the very end of the pass that are new. And then, Jesus, that truck is loud. Sorry, you guys. Uh, then you get one extra production slot in each factory, which is really helpful, especially for you low-level players who uh, only have, like, 45 factory slots. Then you get a 40 temp storage boost, and that's instant. So the moment that you pay for the pass, you just get an additional 40 storage and then you'll also get the temp storage when you unlock those levels in the past. So you'll have a lot more storage. That really was uh, the seller for me was that 40 extra storage because I could really use it, to be honest with you. Um, and like I said, the extra production slot is going to be helpful whether you're a high or low level player. But it's definitely going to be a lot more helpful to the low level players. At least for high level players, now you can put out like uh, 63 or 65 of, let's say, electrical instead of 60, because sometimes what will happen is you'll get an assignment for 60 and it'll miscount, or uh, you miscount, or you accidentally click one and it's super annoying because then you have to wait like eight hours. So it'll be nice to have those extra factory slots for stuff like that. You also have. Uh, to consider the fact that it says advance five tiers. So it's my understanding that if you wait to buy the pass and let's say you get to level 20 or something and then you buy it, it'll take you up to 25. It's not the first five tiers, it's advancing five tiers from the time of purchase. Now, the reason that I didn't wait very long was because I really needed the storage. So I just went with it. Uh, that being said, it's also because, I mean, I'm not going to hold off long enough for it to make a drastic, you know, effect on my, my five uh, levels. 
if you want to, you know, hold off for however long and get those five extra boxes, then so be it. But I went ahead and took advantage of the, the bonuses. So that pretty much sums up what the cost is going to be, what you get. Now, if you're in a different country than the U.S., it's obviously going to be a different price. There's also uh, a couple of changes that haven't applied to everybody just yet. So, for example, uh, we have a new Earn uh, Sims Cash option. That'll be on your little yellow briefcase in the top right corner of your screen. That allows you to play other games and earn Sims Cash. Now, m honestly, most of them seem like an annoying ripoff because now you're just playing a different game to get chump change for the Sims Cash. Some of them seem like they're just, a, they're not really a game, like there was one for a calling app that I already use anyways. You just install it, use the app, and then you get just a couple hundred Sims Cash or something. Um, that appears to not necessarily be available to everybody just yet. I've had a couple people say that they don't have it. Also, make sure, you guys, that you update your game. I had a couple of people wondering where the pass was, and they are like, oh my god, I didn't get a pass. No, you just have to update your, your game, okay? Um, and then there is also a lot of questions coming around about the green dots that you're seeing on the items in your shops. So, honestly, uh, just think. When have you seen these green dots before, right? On the war map. And what do they indicate on the war map? That you have the requirements to use that attack, right? So basically it just means that you have the materials to use or make whatever it is that is there with the green dot. So if you have a green dot on the donuts, that means that you have flour and sugar to make donuts. It is helpful, I think. I think it's something that they should have done a long time ago. The issue, though, is that it doesn't apply to everybody. Thank you, EA. Uh, super annoying. So, I don't actually have the green dots on my, you know, game. I don't know if they're just gonna be there, you know, a different day or <laughs> ever. So, yeah. I That's one thing I really hate that EA does is that they have different rules for you know, everybody. I've had people in my group that have nine factories at level 24, and they're not hacked. And it's just, it's super annoying. You know, the rules should apply to everybody, and the, everybody should have the same game. You know, we also get offers that other people don't get, or vice versa. But anyway, that's enough of my nagging of them. So, the next and last thing that I have to say is... I do have a video up that shows the next season pass and upcoming buildings with side passes and design passes and everything. Not sure exactly which, you know, side passes or design pass or whatever these buildings are going to be in, but that's what you can expect between now and the end of the next pass. Okay, so if you're interested in what those buildings are going to be, you can take a look at the video that I have linked up on our Facebook page and obviously on my channel. So if you have time, hit the like and subscribe button. Also mention my channel to anybody in your group who's needing help. Would be much appreciated. We're almost to 3,000 subscribers. So anytime that you guys can help out with spreading, you know, the word on my channel, that would be helpful. All right, you guys, good luck this week with the contest. And if you want your week reviewed, you just submit your Google Play album your Google photo album to me on Facebook and I'll do a walkthrough on your your stuff.